Hello and welcome back to Amaka Healthy Kitchen. I hope you all are doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my lovely people, depending on where you are watching me from. So in today's video, we are going to be making Gary. We're going to fry Gary. So if you are interested, please keep on watching and don't forget to tap on your bell. Keep your bell on so anytime we upload, you will be notified. So my lovely people, these are all the steps you need to um, do before you start frying your gari. You need to peel your cassava, you need to soak them. If you don't want to soak them, you need to um, blend them. Yeah, but it's advisable if you soak them, let them ferment, you know, for days. That one is really um, kind of traditional and the best. So by doing that, it's going to take out all the acidity in your cassava before you start eating them. Yeah, this is really important. Yeah, so that one is very, very um, advisable and good. <laughs> Walk to you so I can be close to you. It's really simple if you look at it that way. Mm. Time that we get by with money, we don't know. Pockets empty, but us are full anyway. Hey, playing like children and love like our and You were too good. But I wanted you anyway I always loved you Over my head Even when you lived alone To make your parents mad Say goodbye To your own life Turn the page Fall on my bed I don't care If loving you Yeah, so after that, as you can see what I'm doing here, this is very, 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 like, super, very imperative. Like, this is so, so good. This is a step, like, you must follow if you want to get that beautiful, that um crunchy, that's, that, um you know, um very, very nice and um a must- consistency if you want to fry it you need to follow these steps so um these steps like uh is sieving method like you can see you can just take your gary and put in the pot and just break them and start frying no so this step is so so imperative this step is very very important this step is very like it's a must yeah some people have other methods which they use that are very very good as well this step works for me and uh, i'm i am actually sticking with this because you know you don't need to do much but this is the main thing you need to do before you start frying your gary like after this step i'm doing right now you don't really need to do much you just start, you know start frying your gary and your gary will just come out amazingly well so that is what i'm doing i'm just going to continue to do this until i finished um before i start frying my gary keep on watching so we are done with this um saving method and again i just want to appreciate all my amazing um subscribers i want to appreciate again my returning subscribers like you all are honestly amazing thank you so much for sticking with me so here you can see the amount of deaths i got out from this um saving method again the type of um sieve you used um really matters if you want your gary to be that um big like you can see the outcome of this one yeah so i believe you know the right um sieve you want to use so if you want that big ones if you want that small ones that's totally up to you so yeah um moving on we are going to start frying the gary so yeah i'm going to fry this for about um three to four times yeah but before then we are going to start with a smaller um quantity so um 
the best um gary like if you want to fry your gary so yeah to avoid any burnt or and all that you need to fry your gary with a reduced temperature yeah you can see you can see so it takes time though but i just don't want to um this video to be super long so i didn't show you all the time it took me yeah but it took me about um 10 to 40 minutes to fry this particular um amount of gary you're seeing here so so yeah we're just trying to show you the before and after so after that i'm just going to pour this you know in a pan just for read to cool down a bit and as it's cooling down is you know going to be changing um color like back to the original color you saw when we finished um sieving it Again, if you want to get a perfect gari, you need to stick around. Like if you want to fry your gari and you're a bit busy, I would advise you to just leave the gari and just go and finish everything you're doing. But once you want to fry this gari, you just have to be around. And uh, yeah, if you want to get a perfect consistency, if you want to get same consistency, if you want your gari not to a kind of burn or, you know, something like that, you just want to stick around, reduce the temperature a bit and then fry your gari. Believe me, you get a perfect um, outcome. So yeah, as you can see, as I'm frying this gari, I'm targeting the chunk ones, yeah to avoid our gary be having any um, chunk at all any lump or anything making sure we have a smooth and a beautiful um consistency yeah so that's uh, basically what i'm going to be doing until i finished so you can see Even if you want to increase your temperature a bit, you just want to do that like one minute or so and you reduce it back and then you have to be around to make sure it doesn't get burnt or anything. Yeah. So after this, I'm just going to pour this ones back again. As you can see, the first one we did is actually coming back to the original color. So that's why this um, step is actually good as well to um, pour this gary out like um, after frying them, allow um, them to dry really well and, uh, you know, before you store them, if you want to store them. Yeah, so we are going to um, fry the last badge. If you can handle as much as this, you, just, you know, it's just better for you to um, do this um, bit by bit. Like do this, uh, as you can see, I did mine about uh, three three times so yeah so you can do yours like four to five times so we are done like we are super done and this is your perfect um gary yeah so again if you haven't watched the first second and this is the third video i made about this gary i'll try to link them up for you to watch and i'll try again to put them playlist later so you can go and uh, follow them if you want to get a perfect gallery like this or even more you know so um yeah thank you all so so much for watching my video i truly appreciate you all So finally, you can store this in a clean, dry container. You can store this in a Ziploc bag. So it's going to be safe there until whenever you want to um, use your gary. 
so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already so this will notify you whenever i post a new video so thank you so much and please support this ministry let it um, go viral you can share this video anywhere you want to share it thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one stay blessed thank you so much and god bless you bye lovelies bye bye <laughs>